This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm speaking to David Faddis, who's the Director of Technical Sales for Park Systems, and he's going to tell us about the XC Ensom. The XC Ensom is one of our uh, most recent product releases, combining our standard XC uh, crosstalk eliminating scanner platform with um, Ensom technology for high resolution near field scanning optical experiments. So XE Insom being our near field scanning optical microscope uh, that we offer. And as I mentioned, all of our uh, technologies, all of our platforms utilize the same decoupled XY from Z scanning. Uh, the benefits of, this de of the decoupled scan system is that your sample is scanned in the XY direction with a flat background on our uh, XY stage. So the sample sits on there and the Z scanner, where the tip is mounted, comes down normal to the surface, and the tip only moves up and down to scan the surface. So the X, Y, and Z components are completely decoupled for our scan systems. I can remove the X, E head to give you a better view of the, um, uh, the Z scanner, where the tip is mounted. For our Insom technology, we use uh, apertured or aperture-less uh, cantilevers, and those are mounted onto uh, standard magnetic chip mounts. The tip is glued to the end of this uh, metal wafer, and that metal wafer attaches to magnets at the bottom of the Z-scanner, the bottom of our, our scan head. Uh, so in this case, I just have a standard AFM cantilever. It could just as well be a, an Ensom cantilever that's mounted on the end. So our Z-head uh, fits onto a dovetail rail on the stage. It's easily to slide on and slide off to change the tip. As I just mentioned, the, the tip is mounted magnetically at the end of the Z-scanner. Um, for the AFM feedback, we have our laser alignment knobs on the top of the Z-scanner. So these will be adjusted to fine-tune the position of the feedback laser for the AFM uh, scan, or if you're doing an Insom experiment, it would be the same setup. And the knobs on the front of the XE scan head are used to adjust the feedback photo detector uh, for, the, uh, for the feedback loop. So for the changing of the tip setup, you would adjust uh, the laser knobs and the photo detector knobs, uh, similar to uh, other AFMs that uh, you might have used in the past. The XY scanner, where the sample is mounted, uh, like I said, this is a flexor stage design that translates translate the sample in the X and Y direction. Uh, for simple AFM techniques, we have a small sample mount. You can uh, look at small samples as well as uh, larger samples like a microscope slide could easily set on the stage here. But for near field techniques, uh, this scanner plate is actually removable so there's a, a flow through, a pass through uh, for your light path for doing uh, uh, transmission experiments. So our Insom technology is equipped for either transmission mode experiments where you have a uh, transparent sample or also reflection mode where you might be investigating the optical properties of a uh, a sample that is not transparent, where you're having to work with reflected light. So for a transmission type XC Insom experiment, we provide a, uh, a detection box for optical components, uh, lenses for collecting the transmitted light that will sit beneath the Insom stage. So the Insom uh, stage itself has these handles that might be lifted to place the system on top of a detection box where you have your optical components for the, uh, the near field technique. And this setup is going to be combined with a laser, uh, depending on the wavelength that the user is interested in for near field technology. Uh, the laser is going to connect to the top of the, um, uh, of the column and fed through the, the optical path and to the, uh, the cantilever um, for um, combining the, the AFM technology with the NSOM. So in this situation, as I mentioned, we use aperture cantilevers. So the laser would be brought down 
through an aperture in the back of the cantilever. So essentially a, a hole is drilled through the cantilever and the laser light is confined to typically 50 nanometers or less. So that, uh, in, in essence, for those that are not familiar with near-field scanning optical microscopy, the benefits of the technology in general is that you are able to obtain optical information limited by the aperture that your light is confined to. So in this instance, using an aperture cantilever, ideally you can find the light to a, a very small path of about 50 nanometers. So your optical resolution is defined by that aperture as opposed to the wavelength of the light itself. So it, it's a technique that uh, enables a user to get much higher resolution optical information than would be expected from uh, uh, standard light studies where you're limited by, uh, by wavelength. Uh, this system may also be combined with uh, Raman setups for doing Raman spectroscopy experiments. But uh, you know, in essence, it's a, a platform that's very versatile to allow the user to do AFM-based experiments all of our AFM modes are available on the, on the XE Insom, so people that are looking at material studies, uh, electronic studies, uh, lateral force, uh, scanning capacitance mode, all of our modes for AFM are available on the XE Insom, but this platform is also very flexible for the users that want to do optical experiments um, or spectroscopy experiments with, with Raman integrated with the AFM as well. All right, David, thanks for that very informative explanation of the XE Insom. Thank you.